a while since I've done these reviews. Uh, seem to be here, seem to be there some days, whatever the reason. Anyway, John Anderson here back again. Beer Ramble. Today we're looking at Mill City White from Avondale or Avondale Brewery in Birmingham, Alabama. Has it been, I think it's a good score on rate beer. Hasn't been scored on Beer Advocate or the Alston Brothers, the Bros. A wit beer style, 5% alcohol by volume. Take a look what the beer looks like. Yes, I've been trying to do these reviews as consistent as I can, but a lot's been going on in my life. And forgive me if I'm sounding very nasally. Uh, allergy season is upon us, and I'm sure my eyes look bloodshot red, but oh well. You know, his eyes look red. What is he doing? Is he high? Is he high? No, he's not high. High on Benadryl, maybe, but no. Anyway, maybe this will cure the problem. Anyway, the beer looks very cloudy, as you can see. Very like, like almost like an orange aid color. Orange aid, remember those drinks? Tang. <laughs> yeah, tang. Huh. Anyway. Uh, pour a little bit more in this one. These are the type of styles I don't really get. Uh wit beer here, so. Uh Mill City White is our version of a traditional Belgian style with a beer. This refreshing crisp wheat ale is brewed with fresh cracked coriander and caraco. It is hopped with sriracha, sriracha ace to add a touch of lemon zest and conditioned with a generous amount of the Valencia orange peels to add a robust orange finish. From its founding in 1897, textile manufacturer Arondale Mills left its mark. Man, I'm about to hear that. But anyway. Trying to go back. Uh, Birmingham has a very booming beer area right now. Mentioned Good People is in, it's in um, Birmingham. Also, you have this beer uh, company. Several others, Back 40s in Gadsden, uh, Alabama. Uh, so we're becoming straight to Ales in Huntsville. There's a couple of others in Montgomery, some outside of, of uh, Birmingham as well. Some outside of uh, Tuscaloosa. Um, so we're becoming pretty known. Of course, there's Fairhope Brewery uh, across the bay in Fairhope, Alabama. So we're becoming a state that's well known for craft beer. Besides, no more than just football, Roll Tide, War Eagle. So, send the beer. Doing get some of this orange scent to this. Get my, my definitely smell some of the orange in this here. So my nose may not be all that great right now. Of course, it was cold, but anyway, down the hatch. drugs right now. I've been looking for this. It needs to be sterilized. Anyway, um, there's definitely some orange peel to this beer. There's definitely some zest lemon to this one. Um, wit beers are not my thing. I buy a lot. I'll, I'll sample them. I'll try them, but it's not something I'm going to get all the time. The beers I tend to get are stouts, lagers, pale ales, Extra strong beers, but lately I've been drinking a lot of these lagers. Um, I guess that's just my preference and what I like. And I've also been having some red wine too, but mostly the lagers, you know, and I'm not willing to. I'll try them, I'll sample them, but lagers and pale ales and pilsners are the ones I tend to really frequent more often than not. But oh well.
mean, this is good. I mean, <laughs> with the beers, I mean, you compare them with any poultry dish, you compare them with any, uh, any sort of, you know, snacking with some crackers and cheese. Um, uh, that's what I would I would pair a lot of this beer with. Uh, as I mentioned, a Avondale is based in, in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, they're sort of kind of going back to some of their uh, company been has not been out maybe by a couple of years. I mean, well, a couple of years, maybe mm -hmm. about five or six years or so been around, but the company uh, was on Fourth Street, Forty First Street, and South Forty First. Street South in Birmingham. Uh, so they're kind of bringing that to a tradition of the industrial age, uh, what it was in Birmingham and many of these other cities that you've seen across the country. This beer kind of reminds you of that, you know, hey, bringing back that tradition. But, um, man, this is, I mean, it's, it's okay. I'm not going to be negative on this. I'm, I'm, you know, I think it's, all, it's an all right wood beer. I mean, the success and kind of will cut through any dish you're, you're, you're eating, you know, like I said, poultry, mostly, you know, chicken or turkey, you know, a turkey burger can go good with this, you know, you know, uh, I won't say fried chicken, but I would say maybe some cutlets, you know, chicken parm. You know, if you don't use the red sauce, maybe, you know, skip that and do something else. You could bake it, you know. Uh, maybe some crab cakes, maybe, um, can, can go good with this, you know, I feel. But, I mean, it's a good wit beer. I mean, it's all right. I mean, again, not something I get all the time. So, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to say a B for this beer. Oh, it's good. Maybe it'll help me beat this, what I've got right now. But anyway, Avondale, again, they put out some good beers. Of course, the Battlefield IPA, if you ever get that, folks, that's an excellent, excellent Indian Pale Ale. Really good. But uh, this here, you know, it's good. Not really good, but good. Anyway, I'm giving this a 8 score. So B plus whatever in that range. So if you had the Avondale Mill City Wit Beer, white wit beer and if you had it you think it's a high score or low score I'll give your comments on the bottom giant or here the beer rattle tend to keep on watching as always cheers i feel better